So you only have two months to go until the exams. And I'm gonna show you why this is the key step that you need to understand to make sure you do really, really well in your exams. So the Ginger Math Petition here with a new video telling you exactly what you need to do in those last two months before your exams. And the key point here, number one, is past papers. Now I'm sure many of you have actually heard this before from your teachers. Okay, do past papers, do past papers, do more past papers. But I wanna give you a bit more structure exactly what do they mean by this. Now you do have two months to go, which means you can actually space out the amount of past papers that you need to do. And my recommendation to you is to do three past papers a week, because I can do a quick bit of maths here. If I do three past papers over um, two months, which is eight weeks, then I'm gonna have 24 past papers completed before then I do the actual exams. And you'll also, number two, want to vary this up. So if you're doing IGCSE, do some paper twos, then do some paper fours, paper sixes, then maybe do a collection of all three papers, do one year in total. And you can also do this for the IB. So do some paper ones, then paper twos, and so on. Then my next question is, do you need to do open book past papers or closed book past papers? And what I would say to you here is, make sure you start with some open book papers first of all, so you have the open book there, you have that as support as you go through the past paper. And as you get closer to the exams, so in that last month, then make sure you focus on closed past paper exams, because that will really tell you exactly which topics you need to go over. Now, if you're not sure exactly where past papers are, then do check out the video just above, where I go through how to find the IGCSE exam papers so you can practice that. Now, back to my chain here. So, why have I actually used this at the start of the video? Well, as you do each of these past papers, you'll see that is each part of the chain. And only by doing that regular past paper practice, making sure you do each part of that chain, then you'll have a clear structure, you'll have that complete chain to feel really, really well prepared for the exams. So how are you going about your past paper practice? Please do tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear exactly what you're doing and also what kind of content you're looking for so I can help you really, really well prepare in those last two months before the exams. All right, bye-bye for now.